Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another math lesson. Today we're on complex number lesson two, which is on simplifying imaginary numbers. So hopefully, so far you guys already know that i is the imaginary number, which is defined so that i squared is equal to negative one, and therefore i is equal to the square root of negative one. So, you guys learned more about that in the first lesson. So now in the second lesson, we're going to use this fact a bit more so you guys get used to it. And we're going to use it to simplify imaginary numbers. Okay, so we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. Now, what if I ask you something like this? Simplify uh, i to the power of 6 plus i to the power of 7. Okay, I asked you to simplify this using what we already know, which is i squared is equal to negative 1. So let's try. Uh, using what we already know. So i6, let's do it separately. i6, i to the power of 6 is equal to i to the power of 2 cubed. All right, and now this uh, utilizes one of the index laws that you would have learnt in your earlier years of schooling where we have x to the power of a inside brackets to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a times b. So using that law, we've changed i to the power of 6 back into i squared to the power of 3. Now, because we already know i squared is equal to negative 1, so we have inside bracket negative 1 to the power of 3. Okay, so now to do that, what is i, what is negative one times negative one times negative one? Well, uh, negative one times negative one is positive one. So positive one times negative one again becomes negative one again. So the answer is negative. Right. So in case you guys need further assistance with this. Basically, negative 1 to an odd power. So, if this was to the power of 5, to the power of 7, the answer will always be negative 1. Whereas, if this was a negative power, for example, uh, sorry, if this was an even power, for example, negative 1 to the power of 6, the answer will be positive 1. Okay, let me just write that part down. Negative 1 to the power of a odd number is always uh, negative 1 whereas negative 1 to the power of an even number n-u-m-b-e-r number so that word is number there is always positive 1 okay now let's do uh, i to the power of 7 so i to the power of 7, what is that made up of? Well, that is basically i to the power of 6 times i to the power of 1, isn't it? Okay, so we have i to the power of 6, which is already figured out in the last step. So i to the power of 6 is negative 1, so we already figured that out. Times i to the power of 1, so that's i. So negative 1 times i is just negative i, isn't it? Okay, so now we have figured these two things out. We can just put it in our final answer. So our final answer, i to the power of 6 is negative 1 plus i to the power of 7 is negative i. Okay, now we can simplify this into negative 1 minus i. So we have successfully uh, simplified this. Okay, uh, now let's do another one quickly. 
so we can do simplify i to the power of 20 minus i to the power of let's say uh, 33 just something crazy okay so now let's do i to the power of 20 i to the power of 20 equals inside bracket i to the power of 2 2 times 10 is 20 okay so inside the bracket I have negative 1 to the power of 10 and remember I said any even number gives you uh, positive uh, so yes I wrote that right so the answer is positive 1 so this part here is positive 1 now let's do i to the power of 33 i to the power of 33 equals i to the power of 32 times i and i to the power of 32 is i squared times uh, what's i squared times uh, 16 right because 2 times 16 is 32 uh, and then we times by i okay so i squared is negative 1 to the power of 16 times i uh, an even power of negative 1 is positive so it's positive i positive 1 times i so the answer is just i okay so simplify this what does that become the answer is i to the power of 20 is 1 i to the power of 33 is i so it's 1 minus i okay finished okay I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit about how to simplify powers of i uh, see you guys next time